One, uh, it was not that it's, it was not that the party did not want to fill me for state seat. It is that we have to sacrifice a lot of uh, seats also to our electoral partners like PKR and also DAP. And one of the seats that I was slotted for by party was a seat that was not uh, eventually, uh, uh, what do you call that, approved in parliament or delineated in parliament. So unfortunately that did not happen. So there were other choices that uh, was proposed to me by uh, Datusi Shafi, the president. But I told him that, you know, I'm not too comfortable with one, of, one or two of them. So there was another one that we were negotiating with, but I thought it would be a little bit far-fetched because if I had gone there, it would compromise the negotiation that we already had with our electoral partner. So we had to respect that. Eventually, we know what to do when the time comes, and trust me that Shafi and I have discussed this in depth. He is actually in, he always feels that I should go. He even offered me another seat just before nomination, but I still stick to my decision. That I want to make sure that the Kadazan people, the Sabahans, this time are given a very good role when we form the federal government. And of course, I would like to participate in that as well. Yeah? And the only choice for me to do that is I must never have two hearts. I must have only have one focus and one heart. And that is the Kadazan people, the Sabahan people, the Pinampang people will be very well represented a day after the formation of the federal cabinet. And we pray that we will win. And when we win, we will do only the good things that we can for, for Sabah and for the federation. Yep. And lose the federal? Yeah. Is that your answer? Is that your question? No, if Morissa would win, so what happens to the deputy? There are so many Kadazans who are contesting as well. There are so many. I'm, I'm not even looking at Kadazan. I must look at it from the angle that is the deputy chief minister must be someone, irrespective of who they are, must be Sabahans who are credible and trustworthy to defend and to do what is best for Sabah. Am I the only choice? So you're it's not. No, it's not. Because if I was the only choice, then how could I serve the federal government if I were to be given the chance to serve uh, when we formed the federal government? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And being a founding member, it tells you that we, are, we have a bigger heart. I mean, I give you this. There's so many potentials who can become Chalun. Even Kak Jun. You know, we were thinking, but there are big things we want to do for her as well, that we want her to do when we form the government. You know, that's why we have, we have decided that there are bigger things in play. Not only about being deputy chief minister, not only about being chief minister, but who knows, like I said to you Alia, if we make it at the federal side, why not? But even then, even then, if there is a necessity where we have to serve the state, there are legal constitutional rights that the government have in order to invoke such position when the time comes. Oh, we make it no secret now, Darau. Darau. 30 new states, Darau. Because right there in Darau, being a founding member of Warisan, there is a Kampung Warisan right up there. <laughs> Yeah. And on the west coast, if Shafi had Kampung Warisan elsewhere, he would probably go that in uh, east coast. But there was there's only one Kampung Warisan in the whole of Sabah, and that is found in Darau. And the seats offered by too too many, because as a deputy president, I'm privileged to go anywhere I want. But again, we are realistic because we are not stingy or we are not greedy for seats. What more, when I focus only one seat, more so parliament, Shafi, more so the state, it tells you that we want to go to Putrajaya and we want to form the state government of Sabah. And if we, what do you call, if the situation calls for us to, I mean, to serve the federal government, we will. At the same time, when the situation comes for Shafi to choose who is best to serve as his deputy chief minister, I don't see any problem in choosing anyone simply because we have talented people uh, who will become young Bohormats a day or a minute after the election in 2000, uh, 9th of May 2018.